Robots have been a popular subject in film since the early days of cinema. The earliest known example of a robot in film is the 1927 film Metropolis, directed by Fritz Lang. The film is set in a futuristic city where society is divided between the wealthy elite who live above ground and the workers who live and work below ground. The robot in the film, named Maria, is created to resemble a human woman and is used to incite a rebellion among the workers. This film was significant in that it portrayed robots as a potential threat to humanity, a theme that would be explored in many science fiction films to come. However, there were earlier examples of mechanical characters or automatons in films such as The Kingdom of the Fairies in 1903 directed by George Ismail Yes which is considered to be the first film to feature a robot-like character. The Mechanical Man in 1921 directed by Henri Deed and The Mechanical Monster in 1922 directed by Edward Sedgwick, which were more like animatronics, with no intelligence and no autonomy, they were mere machines controlled by human operators. The 1920s saw the emergence of The Mechanical Man in film, which was a popular trope of the era. These mechanical men were often portrayed as powerful automatons that could be used for good or evil, depending on who controlled them. These films were often low budget and used simple special effects to create the illusion of a mechanical being. In the 1930s, robots were featured in a number of science fiction films. One example is the film The Invisible Ray in 1936, which starred Boris Karloff as a mad scientist who creates a robot to help him in his quest for an invisibility serum. The robot in this film is portrayed as powerful but also dangerous and out of control, as it ultimately causes destruction and death. Another film from this period is Flash Gordon's trip to Mars in 1938, which featured a robot named Torch, who is controlled by the villainous Queen Azura. Torch, like other robots in films of this time, is depicted as a powerful and dangerous force. The 1940s saw the release of several films featuring robots, such as Son of Frankenstein in 1939, which starred Boris Karloff reprising his role as the monster from the 1931 film Frankenstein. In this film, the scientist's son creates a robot to help him control the monster. The robot in this film, like in previous films, is portrayed as powerful but dangerous, ultimately turning against its creator. The Amazing Mr. X in 1948 features a robot controlled by a mad hypnotist, which is again portrayed as a dangerous and powerful force. Robots in films during the 1930s and 1940s were often portrayed as powerful, but also dangerous and out of control. This portrayal was often used to convey the potential dangers of advanced technology. It was a common theme in many science fiction films of that era. The 1950s saw a shift in the portrayal of robots in film, with many films featuring robots in comedic roles. One notable example is Forbidden Planet in 1956 where the robot, Robbie, is portrayed as helpful and friendly, a departure from the dangerous robots of earlier films. The Day the Earth Stood Still in 1951 depicted a robot named Gort as a peaceful, benevolent being sent to Earth to deliver a message of peace, and this introduced a new perspective on robots, as a force for good rather than evil. However, films like The Thing from Another World in 1951 still featured a robot-like creature as an antagonist, a being from another planet that is portrayed as powerful and dangerous. The films of the 1950s saw a continuation of the themes from the 1930s and 1940s, where robots were often portrayed as powerful, but also dangerous and out of control. But films like Forbidden Planet and The Day the Earth Stood Still began to show the potential for robots to be benevolent and helpful as well. The 1960s and 1970s saw a continuation of comedic portrayals of robots in films such as The Love Bug in 1968 and Robinson Crusoe on Mars in 1964. The Love Bug is a comedy adventure film about a sentient car named Herbie that gets into comedic adventures with its human driver. The portrayal of the robot as a protagonist and a comedic character was a departure from the portrayal of robots as dangerous and out of control in earlier films. Robinson Crusoe on Mars is a science fiction film where the protagonist befriends a robot named Friday, who helps him survive on the hostile planet. The robot was portrayed as helpful and friendly, 
rapid departure from earlier films where robots were portrayed as dangerous and out of control. Westworld in 1973 and Future World in 1976 are science fiction films that explore the concept of robots and artificial intelligence. They raise questions about the dangers and ethical questions surrounding the development and use of advanced technology and robots and AI, and they are still relevant today. As the advances in AI are moving forward fast and raising more questions on the same subjects, Westworld is set in a futuristic amusement park where robots malfunction and turn on the visitors, raising questions about the consequences of playing God. Future World is a sequel that takes place a few years after the events of the first film and explores the idea that robots can become sentient and evolve in ways that were not intended by their creators. Raising questions about privacy, surveillance and ethics of creating artificial life, the Star Wars franchise, which began in 1977, featured several iconic robot characters, including R2-D2 and C-3PO. These characters were portrayed as essential characters in the story, rather than comedic sidekicks. The franchise, which is one of the most successful and popular science fiction film series of all time, helped solidify the idea of robots as important characters in films, rather than just background elements. The franchise also introduced the idea of robots having unique personalities and emotions, and the relationship between the human characters and the robots in the franchise is a central theme in the story. The portrayal of robots in the Star Wars franchise has also influenced the portrayal of robots in other films and media. And the franchise continues to be a significant cultural touchstone for science fiction and robotics in popular culture. In summary, robots have been a popular subject in film since the early days of cinema, starting with early examples of mechanical characters or automatons. The 1920s saw the emergence of the mechanical man in film, which was a popular trope of the era. In the 1930s and 1940s, robots were often portrayed as powerful, but also dangerous and out of control, a theme that was used to convey the potential dangers of advanced technology. The portrayal of robots in films evolved from being portrayed as a potential threat to humanity in the early days of cinema to becoming more benevolent and comedic characters in recent years. Later films also explore the ethical and moral questions surrounding the development and use of advanced technology and robots and AI and remain relevant today as advances in AI continue to raise questions about the implications of creating artificial life. Today, robots in films are portrayed in many ways, from comedic sidekicks to powerful and autonomous beings, and continue to be a popular subject in science fiction films. Exploring themes such as autonomy, morality, and the relationship between humans and technology.